Welcome to the recap of today's Creative Commons open source office hours. We've been hanging out on codebuddies.org. In today's task, we took a look at the project creativecommons.org, which is a rewrite of the creativecommons.org WordPress theme, including a small REST API that's useful when integrating the creativecommons.org projects. On the surface, creativecommons.org seems like one web property powered by WordPress, but it actually turns out there's at least two or maybe three uh, sub projects that are all sort of eh, more or less seamlessly integrated. And in order to make that integration feel seamless, we need to make some data available to the non WordPress properties, the Django property. And that's done by a a REST API that currently returns some JSON data and I believe uses uh, client-side JavaScript or um, somehow renders the return data and probably Python actually uh, because the uh, templates are statically rendered in Python. I'm not quite sure on the details of that. We'll get further into that. My focus so far has been on the API side of the picture from WordPress which as mentioned, returns JSON data, and we'd like to return some pre-rendered HTML, so we don't have to do any of the downstream rendering. The, data, the returned information, the returned data, will be HTML fragments, such as the navigation menu, so that if we update the navigation menu in WordPress, adding a link or changing something or the nesting or anything like that, it will automatically propagate to the sub-properties of creativecommons.org which are kind of behind a WordPress, I uh, reverse proxy in GeneX, reverse proxy. Again, I'm kind of fuzzy on the actual architecture. I'll get more into it as uh, time permits. Today I've been uh, basically debugging, I guess the WordPress uh, API. I found a bug that API definitions wouldn't work even when I did a bare hello world. And I was scratching my head as why I couldn't even return anything uh, single string. It turned out when the WordPress permalink settings are set to plain, um, the API endpoint WP JSON doesn't seem to work. That's just some part of the WordPress core API. Well, not even my custom endpoint, my hello world endpoint. Uh, this is just WP JSON. But by enabling any of these permalink settings, I tried a couple of them, the WP JSON endpoint became available. And I was able to add a custom endpoint by following the REST API handbook, writing a simple function, mine is just a one-liner, and registering an API route. And in my case, I just returned hello world. Let's take a quick look at the code. It's not that different from what we saw on the previous page. But essentially, here's my function. It's just API hello world. It can receive some data, but I'm not doing anything with it. I'm just returning a string. Then I'm adding an action in our functions PHP. I might be able to move this to an API.php or some other means, or even to a plugin that's currently located in the theme. The architecture is up in the air right now. I'm just um, getting a sense of how things work one step at a time. So we'll initialize a REST API endpoint. And it takes a callback function, I suppose. We add the action, and inside that action, this is actually going to uh, register a route with a namespace of hello and a path of world. What happens is your API can be namespace like v1, all the v1 API endpoints go under here, and here's the endpoint world. Now this will take get requests, some method get, and it'll invoke this callback function, hello okay, hello world, which returns our string. That wires it up. Everything works. Not that many lines of code. Just under 20 lines of code. Not too bad at all with a little bit cleaner uh, indentation than what was in the documentation. 
So yeah, most of the time uh, I spent today was figuring out this weird permalink settings. Uh, I would almost call it a bug. You know, it could be misunderstanding. I don't. Uh, I'm new to API development WordPress. Uh, it was definitely mysterious. Uh, if anyone has any idea of how to get these WordPress um, API routes working with plain permalink settings, I'd be glad to to learn. In case I'm glad to be past that little bottleneck and we'll move on in the next sessions uh, to rendering some template HTML fragments and returning those to the client, for example. Okay, well this has been a CodeBuddies.org Hangout where we've been working on open source at Creative Commons. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.